Thanks for staying with us. To birth a new Nigeria, the judiciary, security agencies, and the media must not only identify their roles and play it accordingly, they must also work together for the benefit of the nation and its people. These formed the basis for a discourse spearheaded by judiciary correspondents in Lagos. We have details in this report. It is the 2023 lecture of the National Association of Judicial Correspondents, Lagos branch, gathered here at judicial and media experts on ground to address the call for the birth of a new Nigeria, which include enhancing the roles of the judiciary, security agencies and the media in a democratic society. The lead speaker identifies several fundamental issues the government must resolve for the judiciary to become strong and independent. They include merit-based appointment of judicial officers, security of their tenures, financial autonomy, as well as establishment of state judicial councils. It is partner for the judiciary to revise the practice of appointing some brilliant, celebrated, diligent judges of sound character from the high court bench straight to the Supreme Court. A sample abound of industrial sound and celebrated justice who said the Supreme Court aligned with their forensic and evergreen judgment. Other speakers called on the Tinubu administration to ensure strong and well-funded institutions to enhance the country's democracy and administration of justice. And I'm praying for one day that our politicians will come to terms. If they lose, they lose the election. And there won't be any need for anybody to go to the election tribunal. But then, INEC must be transparent in his dealings. We decided that, okay, we need to call on all these security agencies to come together so that we will discuss about, because it is about our country. We have nowhere to run to, and that's why we need to put everything in place so that our people will be safe and then we will have a very good democratic setup. I think the government, especially the federal level, you need to look at it very, very, very well with a, a wide people who have wide experience in what you call the judiciary system in Nigeria so that they can deliver. It's what matters most. The event also serves as a fresh call on media practitioners to be thoroughbreds and active players to achieve national reawakening. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos. And youths, some youths are asking President Bola Tinubu to convene a national summit that will address the many challenges facing their generation and achieve inclusion. We spoke to, at an event in the nation's capital, TVC's Joke Adisa reports. In Nigeria, constitute a larger chunk of age population. This invariably means the country as one of the largest youth populations worldwide. Emphasis has always been on how to convert the youth's energy and human resources to gains for the economy and in the long run address challenges of insecurity and other vices. A gathering to appreciate Abiola Shinopela's numerous contributions to youth development in four years as a member of the Ninth House of Representatives. And on the occasion of this year's World Youth Skills Day, the youth say it is crucial that the relatively new Tinubu administration carries their huge population along to harness their skills for positive impacts. Tinubu has shown that truly he is willing and is ready to carry the young people along. You can attest to that from the appointment he has made so far. One way to show that he's a father of the nation that believes in intergenerational equity and solidarity. I want to believe that young people should play a significant role in his government and the least he can do is give them 30% across the board. There needs to be a hearty engagement, a thorough consultation, a, an interaction between young Nigerians and the government where we will interface with Mr. President, with the Vice President and the Senate President and those in government. We want to bring out, synthesize solutions to the problems of this country. To the man that is being celebrated, investing in the youth is guaranteeing prosperity for the nation. He also craves for more bites for the creative industry 
to enhance job opportunities and economic development. If the country needs to diversify, you know, this economy from uh, uh, um, oil revenue, then I think looking at the creative industry, you know, is a way of life. And definitely this industry is going to help, you know, a lot of youth um, to become what they want to be and also to engage them by giving them jobs. The former rep member says making positive impact is about helping the next person and investing in the youth is a tax that must be done by any country desirous to have peace and grow in all phases of life. Jokeyadza, TVC News, Abuja.